welcome back. All week long, some of our favorite chefs are sharing their tips and techniques mm -hmm. that every cook should master. Here today with tips for the perfect pasta is chef, social media star, best-selling cookbook author, Gabby Dalkin. Gabby, great to Yay. have you. Hi, Gabby. Thank you okay. for having me. Ooh, the facial with yeah. the steam. All right, what is the secret to the perfect mm. pasta? We are mm -hmm. carb-heavy this morning. Okay, so there are a couple it. secrets. First, we're going to start with some boiling water. Okay. And you want it to be boiling before you drop your pasta in. And oh. we're also going to salt it. So here, okay. I'm going to give you some kosher so, salt. Yes. Salt, but what about anything else? Olive oil or anything else? So, in the like, right. I'm not a fan of olive oil in it because it... it in the hot water. No, right. like, I just like to you, take a you pair of You don't dislike tongs. olive oil, Jen. No, I love right. olive oil, but, like, throw yeah. some salt don't in there. Don't you make olive oil? Some difference. Yes. Okay. Like, okay. a generous, like, two generous pinches two, I love this. This is like a real... Look, I'm like yes, a chef. Yes, you are. Uh, it looks incredible yes, on you. What kind of salt is this? So, this is just kosher salt. My okay. other favorite kind of salt, which we're going to do finishing is Maldon. This is, like, expensive. You don't need to throw it... Well, you can. Okay. I support you. I'll get it out. But we wanted to put it in there while it's boiling, and so the water's just going to kind of bubble, and then we're going to add our pasta. You and the kosher more. salt, you just use because it's cheaper and it's still really delicious. Yeah, so I use this when I'm doing pasta. I use Maldon for pretty much everything else in like the kitchen. Like on top of a salad yeah, or something, you can just, see it. Yeah, it's a little bougie, but, like, that's just where Love we want. Do you cook it? So just we're going to do it till it's al dente, so probably, like, seven to nine minutes. I always take it out at the early end of that. And you throw it on the wall? Right. Yeah, well, we can do that. Let's I mean, try that. This is yeah, obviously one. not very cooked, but you're welcome to try one of them. Here, do one Let's of these. Let's see if it's done. See if it's done. Throw it on the fridge. Let's do it again. Do it again. It's still got again. some time. <laughs> Hold on. No. Okay. It is <laughs> we'll, a little bit of an old we'll wives' keep tale. keep it cooking. So okay. grab a pair of metal tongs. Just give this a toss every once okay. in a while. And then you're going to drain it when it's all done. Day. Okay. We're also going to reserve a little bit of pasta water. I was going to say, you know do, do you do save that? the pasta water? So, like, just dunk that in there a What's, little okay. bit. What's the purpose of this? This is just to get a little bit of the starch water out. And we can use this to either thin the sauce or, or thicken. thicken the sauce. Oh, gosh. You're good. I watch a lot of TV. I What's the technique to marry the sauce and the pasta? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got a skillet over here over hot heat, high heat. This, okay. This is going to sizzle. Mm, this is right. the Pomodoro sauce, sauce. It is on your guys' website. So we're okay. just going to warm that up. And right. You can put a little bit of the starch water. Oh, the pasta into water here. to yep. thin it. Smells if we want to thin it out a little okay. bit. Okay. And Ryan, you want to throw some Maldon in here just to season it up? Throw some yes, Maldon in here. Yeah. Join the, the party. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, Get in okay. there. Where did you get that? Uh, it's exfoliating. For your skin. <laughs> salt and garlic okay. like radiate my pores. And then we're just going to add the pasta in here and then cook it for about two minutes so it starts to absorb the sauce, whatever you're putting it in. If it's a veggie sauce, a tomato sauce. Okay. You Great tip because I usually pour the sauce over it, oh. but it doesn't really like get in there. Yeah, you want to have it over a nice heat so it kind of just sucks up all the liquid in there. Okay. What about which vehicle shaped pasta? Which pasta is better for which sauce? Oh, well, let's get there. We're going to okay. finish this with salt okay. and pepper. Okay. okay. Let's talk here. So there are four kinds of pasta we've right. got. This is like a penne. This is like the short tube situation. Right. I like hate a table. short tube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I love penne. Stay in the kitchen. Stay in the kitchen. <laughs> in the kitchen. This is, so like I like to put this with the meat sauce because the meat gets stuck like inside the right. tube basically. And if you do the tubes with the oh. ridges on the outside, the sauce sticks even better. Huh. Oh. The science of pasta design. <laughs> I know. It's a big deal okay. on Tuesday. Over here, these are like a long, flatter noodle. And so I like to do it with like a creamy Alfredo or right. something right. along those lines, like a fettuccine. So the smooth sauces work well with the non-ridged pastas. Correct. Correct. Okay. And this like uh, sops up all the creamy sauce. Delish. Bucatini and angel hair is like bucatini is my favorite. I love bucatini too. I can too, tell by right? when you said it, your I face know, changed. It just, you were very excited I, I to say bucatini. It means, it means little mouth. <laughs> and there's like a little teeny hole in it. But anyways, I like that with like an olive oil type okay. sauce, garlic, then, shallots. Pesto. Quickly, finally. This is a chunky tomato sauce. So like more of the fun shaped pasta. This is called I, dentini, I think. Ditalini. Oh, sure. <laughs> That's We're it. close, but I'd Don't like to do that with your this. dentini with your <laughs> no, dentini. Gosh. For tips, you can visit our website, mm. kellyandryan.com. Gabby on social at What's Gabby Cooking, and we will be right mm -hmm. back. Stay where you are.